Hey everyone, Susan from Butts Bees, and today we're going to talk a little bit, show you how we build our frames. It's January and it's frame building time, so all your new equipment should be being built, even those folks who have snow on the ground. Good time to build your equipment. Don't wait to the last minute. So let's go. Sponge. I just shot a short half inch staple in there. Okay. Nothing fancy. I just grabbed some garbage cardboard, folded it over itself. It kind of gives it a natural spring. Okay. And these are cut just a little bit short, but if I rack them, I know they'll lock. And this one's going to fit in the middle in a minute. And then I'll just start loading. Oh, this isn't working so good. <laughs> You're in my way. Uh -huh. well, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll have to go this way. And I put one here and one down here. And then one here and one down here. And it helps kind of load this where this spring here you know kind of holds this you know piece together okay and, uh, how many can we do in this ten, ten yes yeah I'll do ten in here I'm going to take a little bit of slack off. Allows me. I'll kind of straighten it up. Lock it down. You have one going the wrong way. Right? Yeah. Okay. And now I glue. And that's Gorilla Glue? No. What is that? Type Bond 3. Okay. Waterproof. This is what's really fastening. I'm letting it run down the edge and the bottom. And then I just start placing one here. And uh, Yeah. 
these since we flip our stuff upside down we don't need to run the side we got a good surface area just on the bottom Of course, if they're doing their stuff, they're flipping these around differently right now. Let me get my hand underneath there. Pull these out. I'll show you again. squeeze this out and there's 10 well, that's 10 ready to water see how the glue squeezes out nice and okay. not it's not wasting it but it's right showing you it's there man can you slow down hold it still <laughs> Can we see that again? Uh -uh. The audience would like to see that again. What my my nails? It's upside down. Upside down. Turn them. Thank you. Okay. Now, folks, I'm not going to show you what he looks like because he does wear antennas. <laughs> Uh, okay. This is a wired frame. Can't really see it. And that allows us to extract. So that's how we build our frames, 10 at a time. It's a self-made jig. It comes apart. It doesn't have to just stay as a jig. It's pretty simple. Everyone has those tools, just a piece of cardboard and a couple extra pieces of wood. And again, these are the wired frames. They're outside. Let's see, that's a really old frame. Old, old, old. Here's a better one. Again, maybe I can just show you that there's the wire. And because we're foundationless, this is the round over where the bees will draw on there. And the other thing was, this is grooved and it's meant to hold 
foundation but since we don't use the foundation we flip it upside down because of the hive beetle the bees don't always draw all the way to the bottom and they leave the cavity open and hive beetle like to hide everywhere and since this one has to be this side I have to leave it like that these will normally draw all the way but even so there is that gap so to minimize the hiding space if we flip this one over and that way my hive tool can run all the way through and there's quite a few and the bees even propolis them in or you know guard them in down there they utilize it as a jail so I hope you found this interesting I appreciate I really really appreciate you watching have questions please ask them in the comments below share this video be sure you subscribe and hit the bell it means the world to us and happy beekeeping <laughs>